Okay, so when is the end of the world? Everybody's talking about that. Oh, well, you know, according to my information, there isn't, there isn't going to be an end of the world. And you notice I, I said there isn't twice, just to make sure you understood that. Now, there are some that think there will be an end of the world, and I, I'll get to that later. Um, well, no, I better get to it now. Um, so my friend Bob over there in New Zealand, he thought uh, from his studies that um, there'd be a new heaven and new earth in the scriptures mentioned. And he thought that meant a whole new place, a whole new planet, a whole new existence somewhere else. Maybe another planet somewhere in the uh, solar system, uh, not solar system, uh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> or in some other solar system. I mean, you know, there's lots of choices out there. Uh, we're, we're already discovering uh, uh, stars that have planets. Some of the planets are still forming. Some are so big, but they could have moons, you know. Uh, okay, so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, my motto is, did you plan it? <laughs> anyway, here we go on this. This is really good. But according to my homework, what, I, what I've read, you know, I mean, read the book. You know, once you get uh, away from all the ceremon ceremonialism and tradition, you know, I mean, I, I have some ceremonialism in my life. How I brush my teeth. Uh, that's changed over the years, thanks to my uh, good friend, one of my latest dentists, who uh, told me about uh, the intradental brush. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, what we got here, guys and girls, is that, uh, and, and the other ones who are not guys, uh, is, uh, is probably, I think that's short for Goyam. Anyway, uh, is that um, I, what I thought, what I, what I saw, as, uh, you know, the uh, Tweety Pie used to say in the 50s cartoons, uh, I taught, I taught putty tat. What I saw in the scriptures was recycle. And Peter was mentioning in his epistles how the, uh, er, how the earth shall melt with, oh, not the earth, he said the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And you know, he had to have gotten that from Jesus. So, um, I'm lo I, what I see is what I call the meltdown. Uh, in other words, guys and gals, are you having a hard time <laughs> when you look in the little pyramid, the little pyramid in your uh, on the bottom of your plastic bottle? And it says it's got the number five on it, and you're wondering if your town has the technology to recycle uh, that type of plastic, or if you're having trouble recycling your old uh, laptop, or uh, maybe uh, I don't know. My my uh, solution was to keep all the computers I have, and I I even have my first Tandy. <laughs> Man, I I went through uh, a couple of months of paychecks to uh, just to up upgrade that baby from uh, uh, 350 to 500 kilobytes of random access memory. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I still got that. I still have that one. You know, that, that now has become a collector's item. I, if I had only saved, and I didn't have a Mickey Mouse watch when I was a kid. I had a Dick Tracy watch. If I had saved that, man, <laughs> I could have paid for a, you know, a 20 years of storage was just from that item alone on eBay. But anyway, um, so, you know, I'm looking at that element of finality, the meltdown. You know, you're, you're not going to be able to recycle all that plastic. 
those garbage mountains and the the, the, the junk that's in the atmosphere, let alone the space junk that's orbiting the planet, I mean, you may get to the point where you can't launch a satellite because um, there's too much space junk. I don't know. Is, is, anyway, man is not going to be able to do it, um, I suppose. Okay, so guess what? God's going to recycle the planet. He's going to recycle the planet with everybody on it. Well, everybody who's on it, on it. Why? Jesus said, all things shall be salted with fire. See, you go through a planetary meltdown. You know what's going to happen? Well, everybody will have been resurrected by then. Because we're jumping way ahead. So, fire's not going to kill them. But, I want to tell you, buddy, you're going to see everything you did go up in smoke. And I mean that is some everlasting smoke. The only people, the only things you're going to see that go through that fire are other human beings. Now, that's the story on that one. Because then the earth is remade and everything in perfect balance. Now, let's get back to our present history. Okay, now, for now, this is uh, 2010. Pretty cool, huh? We got this far. It's like, I don't have time to get into that detail because I only have a couple of minutes left. So let's give you a little summary. You've got your, you've got your present history, and it's going like an equation. The first part of the, the end of the equation is happening, the abuse of mercantile freedom. And this present, uh, um, this, this present, um, uh, let's see if I can get quick, I'm getting a little older, it's hard to remember this stuff, hard to speak quickly. Uh, this uh, present day situation of, uh, uh, say the economic collapse where uh, 40, 43 trillion dollar, dollars uh, of worth disappears overnight. That's got to have gone somewhere the same way as the savings and loan quote-unquote debacle. Okay, abuse of uh, mercantile freedom leads to the merchants getting busted by an empire. This is a historical uh, his, uh, precedent. Egypt, uh, Assyria, Babylon, Greece, Rome, and then finally New Rome. And that's it here. Okay, the world global dictator sets up and this guy's going to go absolutely nuts. He's, he's going to try to claim to be God. He's going to cause uh, peace in uh, Jerusalem and uh, there'll be a temple, a Jewish temple built next to the Mosque of Omar on the top of Mount Moriah. As I say, the Moriah the Merrier. And, uh, you know, um, in, the, in the middle of a seven orbit time frame, he is going to uh, set up his image in that temple and proclaim that he is God. And uh, at the end of that seven year period, it's all over. Jesus begins his thousand year reign after coming back, as he said he would. God will intervene when uh, it looks like all flesh, all living things would be destroyed. Okay, and uh, in that point, that's the millennium. Now, after the millennium, at the end of that millennium, the people are allowed to do their thing again, and uh, then that's it. Meltdown. And then after the meltdown, heaven makes a soft landing on earth, 1,500 miles long, wide, and high. But high not probably as a rectangle or a, or a, a cube, but as a pyramid. And now I'm out of time. We'll get more back to you later on. Later, Hosen, uh, check you uh, later. That's all for now. Ta-ta.